Butterfly coming to you from the great state of Kentucky. Yes, 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 yes. Where the women are beautiful and the horses are fast, or the horses are beautiful and the women are fast. It just really depends on what you like. Y'all, I had to come on real, 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 real quick while I'm waiting on my son. I'm picking up one of my sons from, uh, well, <laughs> He's blessed. He actually works where he lives. Imagine that. So, I'm out in front of his townhouse waiting on him to come around the corner from the office so I can take him to take care of his business. And then I got to stop and get me some dinner. And then I'm going H-O-M-E. And I was going to do a video today. Hey, your car is going up the road. What you call it, boy? You gonna get hit, fool? <coughs> How you coming up the one way? I mean, forget the rules, you know. 
It said one way. You could make it a two way. I hear you. You're gonna be roadkill too. Look, my roadkill. Anywho, um, so yeah, I was gonna do a video today because of some stuff that popped off earlier i had a court date for my deceased daughter oh y'all and i just can't do it today i just can't I uh, um you know i i was so i was pissed to the highest pissivity i really was and i'm trying not to get back in that mind frame and so i think if i take another day and you know come on tomorrow and talk to you guys because even after that, because that was this morning at, at 9 something, after that, some good stuff started happening. Good news started coming in. You know, so my day flipped and I want to stay in this mindset, y'all. I'm in this mindset. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate about the court systems. It just, <laughs> it's just unfortunate. And I'm at a point to where until we go to trial, I'm not going to court anymore because every time there is a court date, it gets postponed for one reason or another. Uh, and I get into more of that, but just to let you, some of you guys know that don't know, my child has been deceased since 2000 and, uh, uh, tw 2020. So 2023 will be three years, y'all come April that my child has been deceased okay so I got an attitude because we haven't even went to court you know to see when we go on the court about a trial and all of this come on man shoot you know so we haven't went to uh court or anything you know what I'm saying so uh yeah and I'm kind of pissed about that. I really am. I'm kind of upset and uh, and everything. So, I'm just... So, anyway... Uh, she gonna say she wasn't gonna hit me. Girl, you a half an inch away from the front of my car. Now, I do fight. I try not to, but I do fight. I'm still... Oh, itch. Let me shut up. Let me get back to what I'm saying. So, anyway, y'all, it's almost three... It'll be almost three years come April, and I'm just kind of frustrated because we have no court. But I will tell y'all tomorrow what was said in court, you know, and everything. It's just crazy. It's it's the delay for me. It's the delay for me. Any chew. So, I'm looking forward to this dinner, y'all. I am. I am going back to where my daughter took me, Sephora. I'm going back to Sephora, and I'm going to uh, get me some combination rice and a ginger salad. It's a half salad that they have, but it's made with ginger something. That thing was so good. And so that's what I have a taste for today. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, so that's what, I'm, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to have... <laughs> When I say we, I mean me, myself, and I. We're going to have that. And I usually don't eat fried rice or whatever because you don't know what they're giving you. not trying to be funny. But that stuff was so good, I have to make sure it wasn't a fluke just because it was my birthday. Uh, I have been uh, I have been under the weather for a couple of days. And I told my daughter, my baby girl... I told her that it's because her little nasty self, you know, you know, parents, we always tell our kids they nasty because they be around other people they age that's nasty. So she's like, uh-uh. <laughs> but now, uh, good thing about, you know, the stuff that God introduced me to, which is the herbs, you know, whatever goes on, it doesn't last long, you know, and I'm trying to get my body in optimum shape to where I don't even get sick. And so that's that's another thing I'm gonna do as of tomorrow. I'm gonna introduce you all to another uh, iron supplement that does not constipate you uh, and that works very quickly. So if you have any type of anemia or iron issue or you're tired all the time or your feet and your hands are cold, things like that, 
then you will want to tune in tomorrow as well. Or if you know somebody, okay? You know somebody, they know somebody. And, uh, and everything. Uh, another thing. I uh, did not get a chance to shoot more footage at Huber's Farm when I was out of town yesterday. I really enjoyed myself. The food was horrible, but I really enjoyed myself. I mean... It, I took a picture of a chicken because they let the chickens just wander around. And I took a picture of a chicken and uh, I didn't post it. And uh, I didn't get a chance to get the one when we was... Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to get the one when me and somebody was on the pumpkin. So hopefully I get a couple more pictures. And I sent y'all pictures. I showed y'all pictures rubber of um the car show that's just a few of them it was it was as many cars as the eyes can see so that was just a few of them and uh and everything i told you i'm a girl that loves cars i'm a car girl for real i it's something about the speed and what's up under the engine and then when to see a car that's restored it does something to me so i i know I, you know let me explain i know i'm all over the place right now but that's good let me tell y'all, I am not your ordinary female, okay? I just, I'm really not. I am, and it took my husband to point, my uh, deceased husband to point this out. He said, you are really what I consider a roundaway girl. And I was like, what's that mean? He said, let me explain. He said, you, he said you're a beautiful woman. You smart. You got degrees. You street smart. You can fight. He said, not only that, you played sports, you like sports, you like cars. He just kept going. He said, man, you are you are a dude that's a female. He said, you can be somebody's best friend. He said, also, you'll make the perfect wife. That's why I got you. I cracked up, y'all. So I realized that. I'm like, dang, not too many women even know about sports, let alone like sports like that. And, I mean, I do. I love NBA. I love NFL. Don't roll up on me with no baseball because I care less. I do not like baseball. I like softball, though, when I can see it in person. But I do not like no baseball. Uh, let's see. I love bowling. Uh, I used to love to see my uh, deceased husband play, uh, play pool. But you know what? He was good at any game he played. He was a gameologist. For real, he any any game he played, he was great at it. Whether it be chess, checkers, dominoes, pool, basketball, football, um, uh, I mean anything gets back gambling. He beat me in jacks. Go figure. Um, anything gets me in play, he was great at it. Seriously, he was just around. I'm serious. He. <laughs> He actually made me become a dominologist. That's what we call each other. He's the king dominologist and I'm the queen. It's some stuff that he taught me when you play dominoes that nobody else, I ain't gonna say nobody else knows, but you know, you would really have to dig in deep. You feel me? So yeah, I'm like, okay, okay. But um, yeah, so I just like to have fun. I like to dance, you know, um, Y'all yeah, know I write, so that's no big thing. I sing somewhat. Um, you know, I'm just... There's really not too much I can't do. And I'm not trying to toot my horn, I'm just saying. There's really not too much I can't do. You know, I think when you have a mate, not only should that be your mate, but you should have fun with each other. You know what I'm saying? And I used, I miss... I was thinking about my husband the other day. And I miss us just deciding to just up and play gin rummy, or up and play uh, uh, blackjack. Or he he said, "Come on, baby, let's go play some dominoes." And he get his domino set out, one of his mini sets that I bought him. And we go to the dining room table and play dominoes, listen to old school, and you know all this stuff. I miss that. I really do. Um, you know. And everybody keep asking me, if I could have one wish, what would it be? And I don't think that's fair because my one wish, of course I would want my husband, but in, on the flip side of it, I would want my daughter too. Because my daughter left here way before her time. 
you know she was going to do great and great things so i can't really you know of course i you know want my husband but of course i want my daughter so it would be both of them you know um so yeah you know it just is what it is so i'm getting to the point where each day i'm i'm becoming me instead of thinking as a married woman now I'm actually thinking as a single successful woman um, and I'm watching my, my I'm watching myself and my connections and who I'm connected to you know what I'm saying a lot of people has been toxic in my life and I, I will say this until the cows come home I'm gonna shout out real mamas and I'm gonna shout out unbother Mimi because them two ladies and NC girl let me say NC girl too them three ladies really show me what women are. You know, I told you I didn't trust females because the, the females that always wanted to be close to me or whatever was sneaky. And I can't stand a sneaky person, period. So all my friends basically was dudes. I had about two or three females I can count on one hand that I considered a friend. You know, uh, <clears throat> but these ladies... They was the real deal, and they are the real deal. You know what I'm saying? And so I will always have, uh, you know, homage to them. I will always honor them in their perspective places because, again, you know, they show me the realness of women, and they help restore my faith in women, okay? So, so you know... I'm just, uh, I'm excited about that. And I wish them nothing but the best. Uh, I know if I need them, I can count on them. You know, no big deal. Uh, they all have their lives that's really, really busy. And we all have things going on. You know, we bosses. We not bossy, we bosses. It's different. So, um, you know, it just is what it is. And I want to say to my new subbies, uh, I thank you again for uh, subscribing to me. Please like, share, and subscribe with your friends. Uh, I talk about a variety of things over here. Uh, herbs and things that can help you naturally. Uh, we talk about politics as far as FDA, Fundamental Black, uh, I'm sorry, Foundational Black Americans. Uh, you know, where we stand in the past, present, and future. Uh, I also talk about biblical stuff, <clears throat> and I also, when I talk about biblical stuff, sometimes I take you back to history, because a lot of people don't know that black people were in the Bible, and we were not slaves. So, you know, uh, it's it's a variety of things that we talk about over here, uh, current events sometimes, but um, I'm more or less in the helping field, where I help us know who we are. I help us feel better. I help us spiritually, naturally, in every way. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, wanted to share that and say thank you again. There's many things that's coming up um, on the horizons for us. All my butterflies. And uh, I'm going to break down to y'all why I picked the butterfly. Okay? So, it won't be today. But I wanted to break down to you all soon why the butterfly is so important. And it's so important to me. And why I call y'all my beautiful butterflies. Um, I will be back pretty soon to start honoring our subbies again. Something happened uh, with that. Um, I had to get in touch with YouTube because the number of people that I have uh, is not showing up when I do the subbies. And I'm like, wait a minute now. This is kind of, this is weird. So, if your name was not submitted on my platform as a super subby, don't worry about it. I'm trying to work it out with YouTube and see what the glitch is. And we'll be back honoring you all soon. So, uh, again, Coco, C-O-C-O-S, next, N-E-X-T, I'm sorry, N-E-X-T, level, L-E-V-E-L, at yahoo.com. So that's my email, Coco's Next Level at Yahoo.com. If you have a question for me, I want me to talk about a certain topic, email me and I certainly will. All right. So my son just texted me. He's on his way. You all be blessed. 
Don't take any wooden nickels, as my daddy would say. Uh, <laughs> and if nobody told you you're intelligent, you are. And if nobody told you they love you today, I do. This is your girl, Libra Butterfly, signing out. Until tomorrow, smooches.